Hey YouTube, I'm back. It's Kezmir here. Uh, we just got past that really tricky jump she wanted us to do. And we'll keep heading our way to, hopefully, this next frog city. So let's wait for this windmill to come around. Oh, I suppose i got to get in this island, I think. Okay. Well, we'll wait for it to come around again. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys think I should do anything different. Um, I don't think this game's very long, so... If anyone has any suggestions on what I could play through next or what they'd like to see, you can let me know as we get close oh, to, closer to the that? end here. The boots! Look! Couldn't you wear those? Oh, what are Upgrade these? Upgrade your suit! What, rocket boots? With this addition, the suit felt at least 20% cooler. Yeah, a whole 20%. Like, you don't need any more cooler than that. It was already like 100% cool. Hmm. So, what? What do we do? <laughs> oh. This is awesome! So, what, you double jump? It was. Awesome. Oh my. I don't know how to describe the feeling of bursting through the air like a bullet. So fast that my eyes watered, and my belly was full of butterflies. Never fully in control, but still feeling like the coolest kid in the universe. <laughs> I guess I just described it, didn't I? 20% cooler kid of the universe. Yep, space while in the air. Alright. Where am I going? Go. Heck yeah. Pretty cool. I like them. I'll keep them. They're mine now. Did it. Sweet. Rocket boot. Heck yeah. Little blimp. I can get used I'd to these love guys. to do stuff like this with crystals. Just think of the possibilities. Whole machines are powered by them. I almost can't believe it. One down. Ooh, that was close. Where do I go next? Did it. Is he up here? I think so. Rocket boots and checkpoint. Yeah. 
We hadn't seen any people around yet, but ahead of us lay what looked like a proper town. The strays from Maddie's stories. I could imagine how she must have longed to meet them all her life. And now, here they were. Point. Uh oh. I'm gonna make this. Ooh. Ah, sweet. Oh, those must be the strays. I want to greet these people myself. Let me off. Let you off, huh? <laughs> Get off. Hi guys, I'm Maddie Stop from the everyone. village, and this is my friend. He's looking for Fred. Amazing! I've never seen anyone from inside the caves before. My name is Arvin, this is Ingo, and that's Tamia. And I'm Kevin. Welcome to Star Haven, lads. So, what's it like in the village? Village is okay, but not like this place. We don't have machines and crystals. We're forbidden from using them. True. The crystals are our main source of power. The life in the village must be primitive. Or, should I say, simple. Yeah, well, it's not so bad. I've actually made some secret experiments on crystals myself. Like this lamp. You made what? that? Awesome. I couldn't do that even if someone told me how. And with no prior knowledge of how to use them, you are a gifted young lady. I believe we shall find many things to talk about. Actually, I don't know if I can stay that long. Me and my friend are looking for Fred. Have you seen him? Sure. The old man passed through here a few days ago. We taught him how to harness crystal energy. He was headed down to the core of the mountains. You'd have to pass through the ice cave to get there though, so I ain't following. There is a zeppelin headed for the ice cave. It docks a short distance from here. Just follow the path towards the mountain, and you won't miss it. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. Bye, you guys. Bye. Pleasure to meet you. I hear one of those measuring devices over there. To Maddie has to say first. <clears throat> oh, those people were so nice. Yeah, they they're all right. They were strange at all, though we came all the way from the village. They were helpful, and they were impressed by something I had done. Hey, you made a light bulb. <gasps> I wish more people in the village were like that. ledge or something ah there it is great cool right gotta get on the zeppelin somewhere what do we go this way here's a checkpoint so probably this way Oh gosh. <laughs> Damn it. I really like these rocket boots now. They're pretty handy.
going on over here? Nothing. Checkpoint. Maddie was silent for a while. It seemed like she was thinking hard on something. Think too hard now. Nope. These things are always awkward to grab onto. I gotta be really close, I feel like. And I think I needed my jetpack over here. Darn it. Yep, I did. Alright, let's do it right the first time then. Go. There we go. And there's a little Zeppelin right there. Quickly, Get it. grab a hold of that crate. This one? Wait. We're almost to the ice cave. That should be fun. Maddie's probably gonna freeze. I would want to go there if I was an amphibian. Ooh, almost got crushed. Whoop. What's up? Good day. Here's a boat to Ice Cave. Though I'd take the other one if I were you. That one goes back to the outpost. Nah, I'll go there. Um, I, um, wait a minute. I was thinking. I... I don't know if I should go with you. I mean, I want to, but... I also want to, well, stay here. Maybe it's strange, but I just feel like these people liked me and accepted me for who I am. Kind of like you. I want to be with you too, and help you find Fred. I don't know what I want the most. I told Madeline that I would accept whatever choice she made. I just never thought about it until now that maybe... Maybe it wasn't Fred I was looking for when I came with you. Maybe I was just looking for a way out. Somewhere to be free. And I know that if anyone can find Fred, it's you. If you meet him, when you meet him, tell him to come see me, okay? I promised. Thank you. I'm glad I met you. And it won't be the same without you around. Goodbye, friend. Well. I said goodbye to Maddie, and I had a feeling that this was the last time I'd see her. But even in this sad moment, I was happy for her. She had found a place where she belonged. There was a dampness in the air that reminded me of the hot summer nights back home. But as the sun was setting, I could feel the chill creeping up on me, and the path we were traveling on seemed to lead us into a second ice age. Winter was coming. Well, I can respect that. You know, she wants to abandon us. Whatever, we don't need her. She probably just freeze anyways. Well, we are in the ice cave. I think it's a good time to end this one here, guys. So, like, comment, subscribe. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Kesmir out.